an ESP fault message is displayed. This can be caused by a defective turn RAID sensor. To check if this is the case, connect DAS to the vehicle. The operation of all control units can be checked in the filter status, all control units menu. In this case, a current fault is present under a BR adaptive brake. This is indicated by the DEF in the right hand column. It turns out that a sensor is defective. To access the defective turn RAID sensor for lateral and longitudinal acceleration, first remove the driver's seat. Attention, do not damage the interior when removing the seat. Then detach the door sill. Remove the ventilation duct from the interior compartment floor. Fold the carpet back slightly. The turn rate sensor is located underneath. Detach the connector from the sensor. Remove the two mounting bolts. Warning, handle the sensor extremely carefully. In case the fault is not due to the sensor, these sensors are very sensitive. Erase the fault memory once the new sensor is installed. Press F9 and answer the confirmation message with yes to erase the fault memory. Then perform a quick test. The DAS checks all control units. You should now also see a tick on the right next to a BR. Adaptive brake. Select sensor replacement in the initial startup menu. Confirm with F3. Pay attention to the information that appears. It describes the remaining operation steps. First, set the zero point offset. Move the steering wheel to the zero degrees position. Confirm with F3 and start the road test. Remove the dash from the vehicle. Get into the vehicle and start the engine. The ABS indicator lamp should now light up. However, the SP warning lamp should not. Drive the vehicle out of the workshop onto an even surface. Make sure that you have enough space to drive a quarter turn. Straighten the steering. If necessary, release the parking brake. Press the SP switch to start the road test. Perform the next steps within a maximum of 10 seconds. The SP warning lamp flashes briefly and then lights up permanently. Actuate the brake. Shift to the D position or to first gear on vehicles with manual transmission. Drive through a quarter turn at approximately 10 km per hour. The steering angle must be greater than 90 degrees. After a quarter turn, brake the vehicle and shift to N. Then release the brake on manual transmissions to press the clutch. The two indicator lamps are no longer illuminated and the fault message disappears. 